and welcome back to Life Leadership with Alex Urbina right here in your hometown station, AM 1220 KHTS. Good afternoon, Santa Clarita. Today is a special broadcast. We're dedicating this hour to the Allerit family. We want to get the word out to help find this missing girl from Canyon Country, Sarah Allerit. She's 19 years old. She's missing day six now since New Year's. And we have her uncle in studio, Brian. Um, her license plate number is 4WXE737. Uh, her car is also missing. It's a 2002 Silver Ford Focus. It's a four-door hatchback. Brian, tell me a little bit about the family. Does she have brothers and sisters? Yeah, she's got three older sisters. Um, they're all very close. And uh, that's another thing that kind of baffles us. It's like she's not, you know, if, if she was out there and um, she was in a disagreement with the parents or something and she just didn't want to talk to them, you know, her sisters are very close with her and she would have contacted one of them um, along with friends. But, um, yeah, the sisters are just, uh, they're just besides themselves. Absolutely. They just can't, they have you know, to be. they can't imagine, you know, this. You know, it's just something going on with her sister they're they're all trying to be out there and help and do the best they can to try to hold it together uh, too you know because uh, the other the three older sisters they all have kids and uh you know so they're just devastated by this too so everybody's coming together they're trying to do what they can to help out and um you know we're, we're just like i said we're all hoping for the best that yeah we i spoke with i spoke with her sister kayla uh, yeah what a trooper yeah she and is what an inspiration she's hitting the pavement and she's knocking on doors and She's uh, staying committed. Absolutely. Yeah. She's she's committed to finding her sister, you know. And I think uh, a lot of us are feeding off of her energy. So uh, we're starting to drag. She's out there, you know, hitting the pavement and stuff, and that just keeps us going, you know, because it's, uh, you know, like I said, we keep hitting these dead ends, and uh, it, it's starting to get frustrating, and we just need to, we need some clues here. We need some, we need some help, you know. Well, one of the ways you can help, um, you can uh, donate funds because you, you said you're making thousands of flyers a day, right, to get yes. out. Yes, we are. And uh, I know the family set up a PayPal account. Uh, you can find it on – if you're on Facebook, you can go to uh, Where Sarah, and uh, and on there – some of the posts has the PayPal account. If oh, you, wonderful. If so if yeah. you need more information, you just go to the Facebook page? Yeah, absolutely. And if you're not on Facebook, do me a favor. Send me an email at leadership at hometownstation.com for anything regarding this, and I will uh, do my best to get you all the information you need and uh, keep you informed as well as the link to that PayPal account so that you can help make a contribution because, you know, what I thought – I was thinking about this today. If everyone in Santa Clarita just said, you know what, I'll give a dollar – yeah, can you imagine? It's yeah, a lot of money. absolutely. Yeah, it's a lot you, of guys, you guys could probably a get a help. helicopter yeah. to go oh, yeah. out and try. And I think yeah. a lot of people yeah. think, well, you know, I don't want to just do ten dollars. I don't want to yeah. just do five. You know, people start rationalizing like, I want, you know, if I can't make it big, I don't want to do it. Just, I don't care if it's a dollar. Just yeah. give something if you can. Yeah, it'll help. You know, the go towards this cause. The other key thing is that anybody can contribute. So if you're, you know, in New York absolutely. and you hear this story, or if you're in another part of California and you want to help. In fact, our intention is to have this podcast go viral. It goes as far as it can. We're also going to be putting it on YouTube. So probably in the next couple hours, you can either do uh, a search of um, you can do life leadership. You can do Sarah Allerid. You can do Brian Allerid, um, Alex Urbina. Any of those searches on YouTube will get get you to this uh, broadcast. And then you can just, uh, you know, send it off to other people. That nice, would be awesome. Nice. That'd be great. And Brian, what do you think as listeners that are out there and also us, what can we do at this point? So we can contribute, you know, through PayPal. We can go to the Facebook page. What else can we do? Uh, you know, basically, like I said before, just uh, basically get out there and look. I mean, just uh, just keep an eye out for anything. You know, the vehicle, uh, Sarah, uh, anything that looks suspicious in your area, you know, just uh, – just keep an eye out, anything. You know, like I said before, just uh, when you're driving around, just take an extra second to look around. Look to the side. Look in parking lots. Look um, in, uh, you know, areas that that have a lot of vehicles in them. Um, and anything, like I said, that looks suspicious or you think might help us out, you know, feel free to give us a call or, or put it on the Facebook. And, uh, you know, we'll take it from there. Here's the key. Don't um – don't brush it off. Don't get discouraged. Exactly. Yeah. Hang in there. If the family's hanging in there and they're fighting like that, right. use that as an inspiration to say, you know what? I would want somebody to be out there fighting for my family if I was in those shoes. And one thing that really inspired me was when uh, Mike, the father, um, he said, I'm usually never on the, I'm always on the other side. So it's my first right, time being on the exactly. side. Yeah. And we said that. Yeah. I was like, oh, man. Yeah, that's tough. That's that tough. is tough. Because we usually both, you know, I'm in law enforcement and usually we're on the other side of this. We're, that's right. You know, we're actually helping, you know, families, helping yeah. families do this, you know, not being needed help 
to do this. You never think you know? it's going to help you. Exactly. It never, you never think it's going to happen gonna to you. you. you never yeah, think. You yeah. never think that that's going to happen to you. And but absolutely, you bring up a good point. It could be any of us. I mean, you just never know. You never know with life. So do all you can. And ask yourself, if it did happen to me and my family, would I want the community to respond? And how would I want it, them to respond? And then choose to act like that and step up and uh, and take responsibility. This is uh, this is one of ours. She's Sarah's one of ours. She's she's mine. Yeah, and, she's uh, and I want to step up and, and, and uh, continue to, to, to search and find her. Yeah. Nice. So you're saying keep your eyes out. Look in places where you wouldn't maybe normally look. Yeah. Uh, keep your eyes out to anything that stands out that's odd or strange. And then mm-hmm. if you do find anything, get in contact with the police immediately. Exactly. Or contact you guys, right? Exactly. And how do people contact you directly? They can get on the Facebook On the account. Facebook page, yeah, okay, the besides that? Yeah. You can get on and that. Um. You know, another thing is, you know, if you're out on the weekends or out, you know, after work or during the daytime, out motorcycle riding or anything, there's a lot of um, hills and, and trails and stuff out here. You know, if you're out mountain biking or running or jogging or hiking or anything like that or, uh, you know, taking your motorcycles out or, or stuff like that, you know, keep an eye out. I mean, because there's a lot of areas, uh, you know, that, that things could be hidden out here. You know, there's a lot of brush, a lot of mountains, a lot of trails and stuff like that. So just... Anywhere you go, not just up and down Soledad, but anywhere you go, keep an eye out, please. You know, I'm not, and I'm not going to use the word uh, if you find the car. I'm going to say when you find the car. Exactly. Make sure you don't touch it. Right. And uh, get on the phone and either call 911 or just call the sheriff's station, uh, 661-255-1121. Um, also, I, I, I noticed that there's a new update, um, Sergeant Gray or Detective Gunner. Uh, they're also um, those are the ones that are handling the actual case. Yeah, yes. and I noticed that it switched from uh, departments. You no, know anything it's about that? Been the, oh, you mean over to the homicide? That's right. Yeah, they they, they pretty much handle a lot of the cases for missing persons and stuff like okay. that. Okay, so is that protocol? Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, that's just normal. When, yeah, they handle missing persons. All right, but definitely call nine one one when you find that car. Yeah, we're gonna find it. I'm yeah. C- I, I'm telling you, uh, Brian. When I go out there, I'm. I feel I'm going nice. to find it. I'm committed to nice. that You're because to that, Alex. Yeah. because that's, awesome. that's you know that's that's what what we we get to do for each yeah. other in well this I community. I hope everybody's as committed as you are, and it sounds like a lot of people out here are. They so are. That's, that's they an are. awesome feeling. It's also about keeping you guys energized. You know, yeah. that's part of what we can do as a community. Is even yeah. if we just show up to your staging area. You know, your staging area for today at least is at the town center mall right you said right exactly. across from yeah. the la county fire um at, on magic mountain parkway so imagine it, having tomorrow 500 to a thousand people showing up to whatever yeah. that would be yeah. awesome i'm telling right? you that, that would, be that would, awesome. that would yeah, put yeah. the fire under us some more that would keep us going <laughs> i don't care how tired let's we do work. it then let's do it. do it if you're so. listening to this you know broadcast yeah uh, just decide that if it's to be it's up to me and show up yeah. and yeah. any way you can please come out and help please we appreciate anything you guys can do Yes, let's stay inspired. I think that's important. Let's stay inspired, and let's give you guys the energy to keep doing your hard work that you're doing. Um, Another thing I want to point out really quickly, remind everybody, trust your instinct, right? We've said it like 10 times on the show. Yeah, your intuition is is guiding you, right? Supporting. And and definitely, if you were out and about in Canyon Country on New Year's Eve, which I'm sure a large percentage were, and you were driving home between 3 a.m. and 4 a.m., if you saw anything that stood out to you, anything that was kind of odd, um... Or, you know, or you were just driving down the street. I mean, it doesn't hurt to call the police and say, hey, I was on the street around 3.30 a.m. Or even if you had video cameras yeah. for any w- reason, right? Had a video yeah. camera out or you were videewing someone outside in that area. Yeah. Um, you know, maybe yeah. some cars have dash cams. I don't know. Some if, of them you do. Know, if yeah, you do have that, check it. Some people do. If you're a business owner and you're somewhere in that route. Yeah, and the and the police haven't gotten to you. Go back to that date and look. It could it could be that missing piece that that's, you need. Yeah, that's true. Exactly, exactly, and that would help a lot. Or any of her friends that you know spoke to her. Maybe a conversation at the party. Maybe you showed up and then left. If you haven't spoken to the police, right? Right. Be proactive. Give or, them a call. Or if you're a friend of hers and notice uh, maybe something was weird uh, maybe a couple weeks leading up to or a couple months that just doesn't sit right with you. Yeah, or if she said anything to yeah, you prior to the Yeah, if she said something to you that just stru- struck you odd and you're sitting on that information, um, don't de- don't be the person to decide whether it's valuable or not. Let right. let, let the, the detectives figure out whether that's that's worth exactly. it or not. Exactly, yeah. Because that could be the missing piece that really... Exactly, you know, we'll take anything that we can get. Yeah. You just never know. You never know with these kind of situations what information is out there. So the uh, point is get involved. Do what you can, because if this was your child, that's what you want the community to do. Exactly. You would want the community to come out. Absolutely. So, so again, Facebook, where Sarah Allerid, um, or just where Sarah, if you type it up, it'll pop up um, right. and be a part of that uh, solution there. 
Also, there's a PayPal account where they're taking do families taking donations to help with those thousands of flyers and all the other efforts that we're doing. Um, I can see, you know, within the next couple of days, raising, you know, tens of thousands of dollars. Absolutely. If you decide that you just want to make a contribution, if we all did that. It's we're hitting home runs and, yeah. we're, and we're finding her um, quickly. Uh, if you don't know how to get there or you don't have a Facebook account, send me an email at leadership at hometownstation.com. Again, that's leadership at hometownstation.com, and I'll um, you know dedicate the next couple of days to getting all that information to you, whatever I have or whatever was said on the show. Work. Also, we're going to uh, send this podcast. It's going to be available probably in the next couple hours. We're also putting it on YouTube, so That's you can right. search and pass this along. It's going to go viral. It's going to go viral, Absolutely. Alex. We're going to make sure that. For sure. Hey, Brian, thank you so much. It's such an honor to be here, and thank you for taking the time. All right, thank you. It's a pleasure. Yeah, for sure. Appreciate that. Thank yeah. you very much. Yes, thank you, Brian. So we're here every Monday from 1 to 2 p.m. Thanks for joining us on Live Leadership with Alex Urbina. Stay tuned for The Real Side with Joe Messina right here in your hometown station, AM 1220 KHTS.